Curiosity rover on Mars is the gift that keeps on giving, and it may have just found evidence of life on Mars. Hey everybody, what's up? Hope your day is going well. Much adventure here. I found this uh, news article published two days ago. Um, super interesting stuff. Like I said, Curiosity, the rover, it's the gift that keeps on giving. The fact that the, um, I can't remember what the helicopter's name is, Ingenuity. The fact that Ingenuity was flying around for as long as it did, incredible. And the fact that Curiosity is still just giving her, um, amazing. So here's the deal. Curiosity discovered manganese oxide in bedrock in a Martian region that may have been a shoreline billions of years ago. So basically, uh, we can get into this article, but the basic thing about this is that the Curiosity Mars rover has detected intriguing chemical evidence in the form of anomalous amounts of manganese oxide, which points to Mars having not only been a habitable environment billions of years ago, but also one possibly inhabited by microbes. So here's why manganese oxide is so important for the signs of life. Here we go. The evidence is associated with the compound manganese oxide. Curiosity first found small quantities of manganese oxide in the Gale Crater in 2006, but it's now discovered much greater abundances of manganese oxide in sedimentary bedrock of mudstone um, called the Murray Formation. The reason that this is so important we can see is right here. On Earth, manganese oxide is commonly found in lake beds or river deltas where there are high oxidizing conditions. Furthermore, microbes that exist in those environments are able to help catalyze the oxidation pro process. Then it goes on to say, usually this process requires a steady stream of oxygen, which is in short supply on Mars. Um, the previously discovered small amounts of manganese oxide found in 2006 can be explained without significant amounts of oxygen. But the large abundances that they just discovered um, are another matter entirely. To reach, to reach such abundances, the oxidation process would require significant amount of oxygen. So they're basically saying that the re that this exists, manganese oxide exists because there was so much oxygen at one time, billions of years ago on Mars. So therefore, it could have, uh, it could have held life. What's really interesting to me is how the Curiosity rover actually ended up finding um, manganese oxide. So what it, what it does is, so the manganese oxide was identified by Curiosity's ChemCam instrument, which fires a laser at rocks that scientists wish to study. The laser heats a small patch of, ro of a rock surface, thereby vaporizing it, which results in a small cloud of plasma that ChemCam's onboard camera and spectrometer can study from a distance to determine the ablated material's composition. ChemCam discovered mudstone that was enriched in manganese oxide by up to 45%. So isn't that crazy? I mean, let's take a step back and understand that we have sent a rover to another planet and it is shooting lasers at rocks, vaporizing them, and then using a camera to collect data on the types of compounds in that. I mean, that's incredible. That's unbelievable. And the fact that, um, you know, it's cool that they're finding out, you know, Mars, like what Mars has always been this crazy, interesting thing where people think, you know, the Mars, you know, it's gone back to like way back in the day where people thought humans were on there. I think one of the first observations of Mars had all of these lines, which ended up being, I think the fault lines or whatever on Mars. Um, and Whoever was taking the images, I can't remember the exact person. I should pull it up on the internet, but whoever's taking the images ended up um, thinking that it was like all human roads and human civilizations, or not human, but like, you know, Martian civilizations, Martian roads. Turned it out it wasn't, but that's what the guy thought. Um, also, if you guys know who that was, uh, leave a comment below because I completely forget. But anyways, so the presence of manganese oxide also boast, bolsters the possibility that microbial life could have existed within the lake. Not only can they catalyze the oxidation of manganese, but they are potentially able to use manganese's many oxidation states as a sort of source of chemical energy for metabolism, as microbes do on Earth. In other words, in a way, I love that. In other words, in a way, the abundance of manganese oxide is perhaps an indirect biosignature. Very cool. Very cool. So, yeah. So, I mean, Curiosity is still out there doing its thing, shooting lasers at rocks, vaporizing things, collecting data. And uh, we are just, you know, just sitting here on Earth, lapping it up. Um, anyways, guys, what do you guys think about that? Curiosity. How many years left do we have? Hopefully a lot longer. 
hopefully a really long time. Um, but, uh, you know, ingenuity died. So hopefully curiosity keeps on ticking such an incredible mission and really interesting that, you know, everything we hear about Mars, like there's very little science coming back to us that talks about how there wasn't life on Mars in the past. If you think about it, right. Almost everything. I mean, I know we're looking for life and we're not looking for signs of no life, but you know, everything that comes back from Mars is usually as, you know, potential signs of life in the positive let's say um and i think that's really cool and i think uh you know uncovering that mystery if ever it's if it's ever done will be uh completely mind-blowing and i'm here for it and i hope you're here for it too and uh thank you guys for watching um but before i go very special shout out to aiden you are a space legend the amount of space stuff you know incredible and uh i hope your uh, arm heals up <laughs> properly so yeah that's it guys um if you like this video uh, give it a like and if you're new here please subscribe otherwise uh have a great day